here's a question for you. What would happen if you were to type in Silicon Valley Tech into Google's new search bar? Chances are, at least one of the top five search results would involve an ethical scandal. And chances also are, this guy could tell you how they all happened. Yes, Antonio Garcia Martinez, as creepy and sick as he looks, is actually an important player in learning more about the ethical issues that occur in Silicon Valley. With his book, Chaos Monkeys, you get to see what it takes to build a startup, watch it die, and eventually get hired at a huge Silicon Valley tech company. Let's step back for a second. Coming from Cuban immigrant parents, Garcia was raised in California throughout most of his life. He got a PhD in physics at Berkeley and immediately made his way to work at Wall Street modeling credit derivatives. Avoiding an economic crash there, he came back to California to work for Adkami. He explains how although he learned a lot there, his boss made things a living hell. We'll see him again later. Garcia eventually left Adkami to make his own company called Adgrok. They found success by being a part of a joint deal where Garcia went to lead ads targeting at Facebook and his co-founders went to Twitter. There, Garcia saw how Facebook was able to succeed. Brute force. A reoccurring phrase that Garcia quotes from Zuckerberg himself was go fast and break things, which we felt embodied the essence of not only Facebook, but Silicon Valley itself. Looking back onto Garcia's journey, it's essential to understand his take on ethics. For example, while Adgrok was still in its prime years, Garcia's ex-employer Murthy filed a lawsuit against the company. What was Garcia to do with these investors and company at stake? Well, as Garcia describes, what any good Silicon Valley entrepreneur would do, lie your way out of the dilemma. By being able to scam both the law and his investors, Garcia saved Adgrok. What should be considered more than the fact that he did something presumably wrong is the way in which he felt that in the moment, ethics didn't matter. While this is only one of many instances, many people do believe that ethics have no place in business, especially not in Silicon Valley, where people are supposedly too busy bettering the world to care for ethics. Yeah. When you're out there in the ocean, I've been there out there alone in the ocean, one of the things you realize is that nature isn't cruel or evil or against you, it's just indifferent, right? Yeah. And, and, and it's the same thing with the market, it's just this massive ocean, and it's just indifferent. In the book, Garcia highlights the rapid growth of technology companies, and by examining the ethical issues presented, one must evaluate ethics of the increasing popularity of the sharing economy, which relies on trust and reputation. Another interesting point that Garcia makes in his book is the idea of corporate culture. This was ultimately the deciding factor of whether or not somebody was Facebook, Twitter, or Google material. He notes that most of the time, women didn't fit the criteria because, as Garcia explains, they killed all the fun. This attitude is repeatedly brought up throughout the rest of Chaos Monkeys, but is pushed aside as a simple boys will be boys attitude. When later interviewed on these sexist comments, Garcia defended himself just by expressing that he only wrote down the truth. And Silicon Valley's frat boys culture is just as much as part of that truth. We feel as though that statement embodies Chaos Monkey's main purpose in informing people about the ugly candid truths that lie underneath Silicon Valley's enticing opportunities. I, I was surprised by the way you describe women in the Bay Area. Oh. You said they're soft, weak, naive and generally full of expletive. Silicon Valley has a reputation for being dominated by single young men. So are you perpetuating that stereotype? Are you trying to dispel it? <laughs> that I, I portray Silicon Valley warts and all and that is part of Silicon Valley for better or worse. Okay. My question is, should Silicon Valley tech companies focus their time and money on ethical advancements or if they should focus on their core mission of bettering the world with their products? <laughs> uh, um, my question is, why, how... <laughs> yeah. uh, my question is, how is the sharing economy disrupting traditional business models? Why are the tech-savvy entrepreneurial figures in Silicon Valley never depicted as a woman? 